Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? If you can tell, I am a little bit snuffly. Um, went back to work and then within the first few days caught everyone's germs because people are rude and come to the office with all of their germs. So, I have been working from home all this week, keeping my germs to myself. But I do have some cash here and I do need to get in and film my June sinking funds. My brain is not all quiet with it, so bear with me. Let's give this a count and let's get this all stuffed up. So we have all the colours of the rainbow here today, which I love. Alright, let's give this a count. We've got 100, 150, 2, 253. 220, uh, sorry, 320, 340, 360, 380, 400, 420, 430, 450, 460, 470. And I think I might have messed that up because I think I've only got 460. We got 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 84, 420, 430, 440, 450, 460. Yes, I did stuff it up. $460 to stuff today. So I did allocate this month. $700 to my sinking funds so I have put $140 into my car and rego fund which is just an electronic transfer and then I've also transferred $100 into my health account as well so that's where the other money has gone all of this money is from my wage and let's jump in and get started so I have my bills binder here Lovely, lovely bills binder. So jumping first into high priority health, because I haven't been well, I actually used the, the I can't even talk, the $20 that was in here um, when I went to the pharmacy. So there's currently no cash here in this one. But that's okay. I put $100 into the bank account for that one. Now, Christmas, we have some money banked away. Well, we have all the money banked away at the moment for Christmas. So we've got our challenge here. Hopefully that's not too dark. Let me move some bits and pieces around. I don't know why I pulled this out as well. Anyways, so we've got $300 in the bank. And today for Christmas, I am going to give that one $50. So, of course, I don't have my red pen. I am just not prepared today. I don't think I need any of those other colors. Okay. So $50 is worth 10 of my Christmas hats. And we are at $350 in my Christmas envelope. So I am very happy with that. If you're new here, Christmas in my family is really just a secret Santa. There is a set meal. So all I really need to do for Christmas is presents for the children. There's three of them. Um, and $50 towards my secret Santa. And then it's usually about $50 towards something that I get assigned on the set menu. It might be chicken. It might be dessert. Whatever it might be. So that is why I don't stuff a whole heap into my Christmas envelope. Alright, let me try and fix this because I've made... A bit of a mess of it now. So $350 into Christmas. That is very exciting. <clears throat> Beautiful. Alrighty. Black Friday. Today I'm going to give Black Friday $40. So let's bring all this out. And we have $20 in cash and I've got $200 in the bank. So we've got $220 plus another $40 will make that up to $260 now in Black Friday. Need my green pen and $40 is going to be worth four of my shopping bag icons. So three more to finish off this row and then this one here. I'm really proud with how this is coming along. Um, obviously, once I finish this tracker, I'll probably just keep going until Black Friday gets here. But what we've only got July, August, September, no, October. Oh, I can't even do maths. Um, not even maths. Oh, my Lord. July. <laughs> what, five months until Black Friday is here? So I have my list. I always have every year. I write it in my diary. 
I write it in the November section. And as, of, as I think of things that I want to buy, I write it down in that section and then, yeah, basically just wait until there's a really good deal. And if I still want it, then I will buy it. Lovely. So that is everything for high priority. Moving now into low priority. I don't even think I allocated any money for gifts for this month, which is a bit odd for me. I do have two birthdays coming up next month, so I'll have to prioritize that one next month. But I still have $130 sitting in there, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now, RAC. RAC is going to get a little bit extra than it normally would, and I'm going to color in before I count. But this month, I'm going to give RAC $15. So normally I'd give it 10. I'm just trying to slowly build up and get a little bit ahead on this one. So each icon here on my roadside assistance tracker is a worth of $5. So I will color in three of those. Now all the trackers, obviously if you've been here for a while, you'll know, but if you're new, all the trackers that I use are all on my Etsy store. So we've got those, let's give this a count. Beautiful. We have 50, 60, 70, 75. So if my roadside assistance is, what, 115 or 120 or so, I'm pretty close to fully funding that for next year. And that's not due until February of 2024. So I'm getting nice and ahead on that one, which is good. Beautiful. Alrighty, I think I spoke about this in one of my last videos, but I went out and spent some money from my beauty envelope. So I currently have $45 sitting in here. And today I'm just going to add another 40 into there. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, $85 back in there now, which is good. In there. If it wants to go in there, lovely. Alrighty, so it is the middle of June. Um, so tax is coming up at the end of this month. So it is fully funded. I have just stolen the little fully funded slip out of there. But what I wanted to start doing was just start it off again for next year. Normally I do $40 a month, but I've just given it 20 for this month just to give it a little bit of a head start. So $20 back into tax. Now, prepaid is technically fully funded, um, but I do want to get ahead of this. Just like I am with RAC, I just thought I'll start it again while I've got just a little bit of extra money to play with. Now I'm not putting so much money into like my adventure fund and things like that. So I do need to clean off the tracker but I'm just going to pop $15 in there today just to get that one started again. And as well, this one's not due. I've got the 170 saved for this coming August. So this is start planning for the year after that, which is pretty good. All of these ones, like my RAC and everything like that, they are all paid up for this year. I'm just focusing now on next year. So that is pretty good feeling. So that is everything from the Bills Binder. I'm going to jump in now to the Fun Binder, which is amazing. I love this binder. Alrighty. So I was putting, you know, anywhere between 100 and 150 every month. My dog's just standing up here next to me into this envelope every month. But because the holiday is done and I can sort of take a step back from this, I'm going to drop this right back and... For today, I'm going to give this one $50. So I did put $50 in there from one of my last variable expenses stuffings or rollover. Um, so to already have $100 back in here is pretty cool. Each of my icons, I've changed the icons down to $25 each. And another 50 is another two icons. And we've got our $100 in there now. So I'm Quite happy with that. I do still have my 19 cents, my trusty 19 cents sitting in the bank. Lovely. <clears throat> Alrighty, so that one's done. 
Now, today, Fun, I am going to give Fun $60. I'm very excited to be doing this video today because, like, last week I stuffed some money into some of these, but it just feels nice to put a little bit more money back into these ones after they were all completely depleted. So, I have added my $60, so now in here we have one, sorry, we have 50, 100, 120, 130, $135 in there. I'm happy with that. That is more than enough to cover, you know, a dinner out or whatever it might be. I don't know if you can hear my other dog who's asleep on the couch there, snoring. Hold on. Tell me if you can hear that little snore. <laughs> He's so loud. Okay. $135 into fun. That is good. I am happy with that. Seasonal today is also going to get another big jump. I'm actually going to put $50 into there. So the 20 we already have brings us now up to $70 in there. So that is good. All right. Now, I was actually meant to split 2020 between office and, sorry, 10 and 10 between office and home. But I'm just going to have a little look. So I've got $15 in office, with some money in the bank, and then, spoiler alert, I went to Kmart, so I had to, I didn't have to, but I did accidentally spend my beautiful 100 that I had in there. But it was worth it, because I got to go to Kmart. So what I'm thinking, I might actually just put this full $20 into home today, because then that'll bring us back up to $80 in there going to put this two dollars to the side and I'm going to stuff that into my coin savings challenge a little bit later. Alrighty, so last cow off the rank is going to be Samsung and I'm going to give that one today $100. Sorry, my dog is just here checking everything out. $100, each of my icons is worth 20 so I need to do 20 40, 60, 80, and 100. Beautiful. So we have 1,040 in the bank plus a $100 gift card. That's 1140. So this makes that $1,240 in Samsung now. This is getting super, super close to being done. And I'm very, very excited. My phone has actually been playing up quite a bit lately. I don't know if it's just like the internet around here or what, but yeah, I've been trying to just like restart it. It's just doing all sorts of funky stuff, so I don't know. But anyways, so that is all of my sinking funds stuff. Now, now that I have these envelopes back to a pretty decent place I guess you could say my next goal for myself is to save $1,000 before the end of the year so what I have here is my $1,000 savings binders so these are on my website so if anybody wants to start saving $1,000 with me as of next week these are on my website they are ready to go ready to ship immediately I've shown them off before, but you have the gray and you also have the peach. They have a little cover binder. There's a $5 note challenge, a $10 note challenge. There is a mini $150 savings challenge. There is a $200 rainy day savings challenge. And there is a 50 coin savings challenge with a little uh, goals tracker at the back here. So this is what I'm starting from next week. So. You can expect rollover money, bonus money, anything like that to be going in towards this $1,000 parcel that I'm trying to build before the end of the year. So, like I say, if you want to start that with me, you can shop these in the description in the link below. And yeah, that is it from me. So, if you have made it all the way to the very end in celebration of my puppy dogs being here, here with me while I film. Leave me a puppy dog emoji in the comments and I will see you very soon in the next one.